Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Joe Stories. Today is Sunday the 15th, and today's an exciting day. I'm gonna take my son up to Sonoma, California. Um, you know that Sonoma has a special place in my heart. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, my stepfather, my late stepfather, had some family property up there uh, from when he was a kid, and he was born in the mid 40s, so, I don't know how long that they had it, maybe from the 30s, when it was still very much, you know, a farmer's town, cow town, I guess you could call it. Um, so he grew up there, he knew the place very well, and when we started going up there when I was about eight or nine, um, it was just a fun, you know, weekend getaway. And uh, eventually, you know, we, we had places to stay because he had some rental properties up there um that we would have uh to stay in and it was just a lot of fun um i just remember uh the summers being you know 90 degrees uh riding our bikes uh he played tennis so i learned how to play tennis um which was a great exercise uh there was a place up there called happy dog we would go and get chili dogs uh, they had a movie theater up there. Uh, I saw the original, uh, not the original, but I saw the first new Star Wars movie up there. This was in 99. Um, there's a lot of things. You know, the town square, there's a lot of things to do around the town square. Uh, I am going with my uh, ex-girlfriend uh, today, my son's mother, and uh, we're going to go together as a family. And I think it's important uh, to spend time together and me and her, you know, to, to kind of build, you know, that, that foundation of, of friendship and, uh, uh, spending time and, and having fun with our son. Um, and it's good for him. And we've been doing that for like, you know, the last two months, I think, uh, maybe a little bit longer, um, here and there. So yesterday we, we hung out, uh, she had a work thing and asked me to, um, uh, if I could watch him for a few hours, uh, I drove in the morning. Uh, it was it was pretty good. I started out yesterday morning. I didn't really feel that well, and you know I find out that my son has a runny nose when I saw him, so he was a little bit sick too, and I could feel it a little bit on the side of my neck. Um, but I got up around nine, and I didn't again didn't get out of the house till about eleven, you know. Um, and then I did a video. I didn't go online until about eleven thirty, but. Just getting up early, even today, like, you know, getting up at nine, I set the alarm for 8.30 and I did hit the snooze. And by the time I did jump out of bed, it was about, you know, a couple minutes before nine o'clock. Um, but it was good. Like, I'm, I'm just getting used to just getting up early again, but also getting up and having the energy to start the day. Um, for a while there, it was, it was you know, two, two in the afternoon, 2.30. You know, I would get out and do a video and go see my son. And I would just, I'd see him. I'd bring him home around 7, 7.30. I'd get home, unwind, get some dinner. You know, by that time, I'd start cooking dinner about 8. And then I would have like the whole night, you know, I would start maybe exercising around 10, 10 o'clock, 10.30. You know, at least 10.30 I would aim for. And that would be like an hour, hour and a half of that. Take a hot shower and then eat again, like around 1, 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And then I'm up until, you know, 4.30. Easily, easily, 4.30. Um, and then I would get up around 11 the next day. And I, and I, I started trending back, but it would be about 11 uh, every day was kind of the time. So now that it's about, you know, 9 o'clock, and, and yesterday I, I dialed it back, or today I dialed it back to 8.30, um, it's, it's, it's important for me to get up. Plus, with the new job coming... I don't know what time I'm going to start, maybe 7.30, it's probably, probably be there at 7.30, so probably going to have to get up around, you know, maybe uh, 6, 5.30, 6, I don't really know right now, um, I did tell them I'm an early bird, which I am when I'm working, uh, and the coffee has been helping a lot, uh, today I didn't do it, I, I don't, I don't feel like I needed it today, I just, I had the energy uh, to, to get up and go, um, Usually it's on my mind, like, damn, I need coffee. I don't know, I, I just, it just pops in my head, like, it's a good day to have some coffee. Um, but today, I, I didn't even cross my mind. 
you know, I have my son's ball, you know, I'm ready to ready to go up there and play. And um, it's it's going to be a fun day. Uh, so yesterday uh, I drove um, and uh, I did get kind of stuck in kind of a no man's land area and I had to be back. Uh, I did decline, you know, pretty good ride you know, down to San Jose, which would have been uh, over 40 bucks, you know, maybe 45, maybe a tip, 50 bucks, um, you know, an hour, get down there, 50 an hour, that's great. Plus the mileage, a lot of miles, so a lot of gas. Uh, but it, it evens out, you know, just like, you know, I had to decline it. And then, you know, fortunately, you know, sometimes it get things get running a little bit late, um, which I can understand. Uh, sometimes that's kind of a trend. Uh, but it worked out because I didn't spend a lot of gas. I stayed in the city. I, I did get taken down to San Mateo um, and did some rides down there, but I had to jam back. So on the way back, I'm like, man, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm checking my, my Google Maps. I had just enough time to get home, you know, clean up real fast, maybe five, 10 minutes and, um, and put the baby seat in. And then I had to jam over uh, to, to a meeting uh, so, so his mom could do a work meeting around 2.30. So I didn't really have a lot of time. So on the way back, I got a ride that was going like maybe from the route that I was taking to get back to my house. I got a route, I got a ride that was maybe about six blocks away from where I was to take me on that side to maybe about five minutes away from where I live, right in the neighborhood, maybe less than five minutes. And I was like, oh, this is great, you know? and. It only gives you the street addresses. It doesn't give you um, the, uh, uh, how do you say it? The, um, you know, you, know, you kind of have to gauge like where you are now, now. You know, if you've been driving for a while in the morning and, and you're tired and you're ready to be done, even though, you know, normally I'm gonna wanna go longer than two, two and a half hours on a Saturday, at least four, that's what I'm aiming for, um, to really get some money going, uh, you know, minimum. Uh, just to just to get going um you kind of have to just know what streets are and in san mateo i didn't really know but it's in the city i saw the streets off the top of my head you know you only have maybe a split second to decide i'm like okay screw it i think i know where this is and it worked out right there so she jumps in and she has a pile of food and i immediately smell some pizza <laughs> i could smell it i smell good so you know i go i i i lean back to her and i say Oh man, that pizza smells really good. She goes, oh, thank you. She goes, do you want it? I was like, what? She goes, do you want the pizza? She says, I know the people, you know, that work there, they gave me a free slice. She says, I don't want it. I was like, I don't know, what, you know, what kind of, you know? And then she lifted it and it was like this huge slice of like um, sausage and bell peppers and, and mushrooms, I think. I don't know, it's other stuff. I was like, I'll take it. And then she closed it and she said, oh yeah. She was very nice. I, I, I took her home um, and later on she gave me a tip. So I've already been getting some tips and it's it's been really nice and I, I appreciate it. Um, just getting the tips are, are, are appreciated. You know, I don't know, a, a few of the, the riders have said, you know, they don't have drivers that are as nice as me. And it must just be the trend of, of the drivers. I'm not really sure, more kind of like you know, like robotic. I don't really know. I haven't been a passenger uh, myself for you know a lot of years, um, but not 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 too bad. Um, I showed up early. I have about 25 minutes before we're gonna meet, um, just outside. You know, uh, my my son and his mom's uh, place. Um, I was a little early, so I figured I'd do a vid. Uh, so then from there, you know, we met, and I took him across the street to a uh, pumpkin patch and you know we again we were told okay maybe 30 minutes I figured it was probably gonna be uh, close to an hour uh, which it was um, which was fine but I, I, I'm pretty good at gauging this these times uh, so we got in there walked around a little bit he was a little bit out of sorts there's a lot of people a lot of kids running around um, and then I saw that they were doing a hayride so I was like you know let's go, let's go do the hayride no it was six bucks each you know, maybe a five minute ride, nothing too crazy. Um, maybe five bucks would have been a little bit better, four bucks probably, probably more of a $4 ride, um, I would say. 
but you know, maybe gas, who the hell, who knows? <laughs> so we jumped in and, and they took us around and that was fun for him. Uh, and that was fun for me too. Uh, you know, I don't think he's ever been on a, on a tractor pull before. Um, and they, they have these, uh, these, these hay tunnels, like they made tunnels out of hay, you know, and they, and they lay down the carpet, you know, so kids, you know, don't hurt themselves and a lot of hay on the ground, but it's just tall enough. I don't know how tall my son is right now, but it's just tall enough for him to like crouch down and like walk, you know, real low and crawl through. And in the beginning, he was kind of sketch, you know, tried it out a few times. But, you know, after a while, like, that was where we were at. That was the playground for all the kids. And uh, they had some turkeys. We would walk over and say hello to the turkeys. Um, and then we'd walk back, and then he'd run around. And uh, it was great. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun just seeing him do that. And it's kind of hard because I see him, you know, at two, and I see him walking over to kids that are maybe about eight or nine, and he wants to play with them. Um, and, and he doesn't have the vocal, you know, the, the verbiage yet, you know, how to connect and, and talk to them. Um, and they kind of, they didn't brush him off, but they're kids too, you know. Um, but he was running around, he was skipping around, it was great. It, that, that was a lot of fun just to see him do that. And um, I definitely want to uh, encourage him uh, with, with friendships and, and meeting people and, and things like that, which would be good for me too, um, even at my age, you know. I'm going to be 39. Uh, at the end of November and um, just just being able to do that uh, is good and if, if you if if I think about myself you know eating healthy eating a, a great diet has really made me feel more mellow you know I mean I, I'm still gonna talk and interact and communicate and get excited about things and want to run around but I just feel more mellow and more comfortable you know just just based on the diet I, I don't feel so um, like you know, if, if you got chip, you're eating chips every day and cheese and high fat. I don't know. Like, it's hard to explain, but it definitely has helped just based on just feeling comfortable within my body. Um, it's, it's a nice feeling. Plus, having a son, I'm getting more exercise and stamina. I'm not necessarily, you know, doing the standard, you know, hour and a half. This is the workout routine in the house, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, all these different things. I haven't been doing that um, for a while. That's something I, I would like to get back into. But just, you know, getting up, uh, uh, driving, which I've been doing the last few days after I got my car re-registered, and um, getting out with my son, going to the park, uh, and just having more of a full kind of a day. Um, it's nice. It's really, really nice. And I, I don't drink alcohol. I just, I don't really... It's not my thing. When I was younger, you know, everybody always has, you know, those young stories um, that they had. But, you know, for me, it's like, you know, I did that stuff when I was young. And at times I felt older back then just based on, you know, just like just thrashed, you know, cigarettes in the pocket. You just feel thrashed. And you don't have energy unless you drink more. Um, and your diet is terrible. And depending on the kind of job that you have, yeah, you're getting maybe more physical exercise because you're younger, but you're kind of negating a lot of that. And, uh, you know, education wise, you know, it kind of suffers. Um, it's just, it's, it's just not a, it's not a fun lifestyle for me. It's, it's just not. And I can't remember the last time I had a beer. I know I did one on Father's Day, which I, I really was happy about. Uh, I got a, a real nice, you know, tall can, 20 ounces, maybe let, you know, right now it's like 19 ounces of, uh, of the Kolsch, Fort Point Kolsch, which is really probably my favorite. I just like the can, the orange and black, you know, I got orange and black. Um, plus it's really refreshing. I think it's only like 4.2 uh, uh, alcohol content. I'm not too sure, 4.1 or something, less than five. Um, and I got a really good burrito and some chips and guacamole. And I rented uh, uh, John Wick Part 4, and I just, I felt, you know, like I had earned it, you know, like I earned it. And I don't know, I think I did another one after that, maybe a few months after. I think I did, and I, I ate like an a, a entire bag of popcorn. <laughs> that was what I had for dinner. I just sat there, and I was probably full after like a third of it. And I was like, okay, I was watching Fletch. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to eat this 
bag of popcorn. I just kept going, almost like an activity. I was full, but that was all I had for that dinner. Um, no, that, was, that was fun. You know, it wasn't really too too crazy, but I more kind of drank the beer because I had bought it because I wanted to kind of relive the uh, Father's Day kind of buzz experience. But you know, since then, it's not really something something I want to do. Now it's more you know I eat healthy, so I have my you know treat meal, cheat meal. I call it a treat meal because it's a treat. Instead of a cheat, I'm not cheating myself. Um, uh, uh, treat meal Fridays. You know, you eat whatever you want. Um, and even then, you know, I, I like to go easy. Like, you know, maybe last week, you know, I had a lot of cheese. I had a lot of cheese on my pizza. So this Friday, you know, no cheese. And, you know, uh, today, or, or excuse me, Friday, I didn't have uh, uh, my cheat meal because I just didn't feel like doing it. And I knew I was going to see my son on Saturday. And I thought, okay, maybe we could all go out to lunch, um, which we did after after he did the uh, the pumpkin patch. Uh, we went out to lunch, walked around, took our time. I was really hungry. I hadn't eaten. And it was getting on like four. And I was like starving. Um, so, you know, we, we walked down and, and we got some lunch. And I had a nice salmon burger with avocado. Um, you know, and the bread is not bread that I would normally eat. It's like a white, white potato bun. Um, and I had some uh, sweet potato fries. And I ate healthy, you know, later on that night. Because today we're going to Sonoma and they have a, a barbecue. And again, you know, I'm probably going to watch the carbohydrates. Because I like to balance these things out. And no cheese at all. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do probably, you know, some barbecued meats of some kind. And, uh, and, and go from there. And maybe a nice salad. Uh, you know, get some carbs, some kind of carbs, but, you know, no, no white sugar bread or any of that stuff. Um, and just continue to eat healthy. I, ju I just feel a lot better. Um, and that was that was yesterday, and, and uh, you know, that's today, and, and that's what I have going. Um, I'm excited about my interview tomorrow. You know, again, I don't want to eat crazy, and then tomorrow you do an interview, and you're just like, oh, man, I feel really bloated and just tired. And um, I don't feel as under the weather. Last night I was feeling a little under the weather, which was another reason I had the slice of pizza in the fridge, <laughs> which I, I did not want to eat. Um, because, you know, the cheese, it just makes you feel like your skin is greasy and you feel kind of funky and bloated. And that was like late. That was like, you know, you know, maybe nine o'clock. I mean, late now, you know, I was probably extra tired because after we, we went to the restaurant, went to the park and we ran around, we did bubbles and um, uh, uh, we played some frisbee, and he was running around, and we ran around the baseball diamond. Um, the nice thing about having a son, which is something I haven't done in a long time, is just run. You know, I'm just doing like a little jog, you know, but just actually run. Something I haven't done in in, uh, in many many years. Even then, like if I I used to do a little bit of running when I was younger. You know, this was probably. Man, I don't even know. Maybe this is back in my, my original apartment, maybe 20, 2015, 2016. It's been, it's been definitely over five years, I would have to say, since I've actually been actual running. Um, but it, it, it's nice to get that kind of exercise. Um, also, um, you know, last night I, I wasn't feeling well. I, I made sure I ate healthy, had some Greek yogurt, had a banana, had some walnuts. I do. I like sardines, so that's sardines. Um, his mom gave me some couple of sparkling waters, so I was reading, you know, to get her over a cold fast. You want to make sure you're hydrated, and I probably was dehydrated because I was carrying him around. I was really sweating by the time we got back to the car, um, and I was real achy too, probably from the exercise and um, the running and just tired from driving for two days, you know, back to back and a lot of different things. Um, two ibuprofens, you know, within, you know, maybe two or three hours. And uh, I crashed out, you know, probably before midnight. I don't really remember. I was the earliest that I'd fallen asleep in quite a while. And, um, you know, lately the past week, I've been getting up at like five. I think it's like five. I don't know why, it could be the street light coming in because it kind of goes off and then it go, will go on and then it kind of dims, it's kind of wonky. Um, 
but yeah, it's just, you know, different things like that, that, that are still, I'm still working on, um, you know, getting up at five every morning and tossing and turning for two hours and then waking up at nine. Eh, it's not the best, but it, it, it is okay. And today I do feel, I do feel rested and I always feel better when I shave. I shave my, um, I shave my beard down. I shave my head. You know, I didn't go bald today. Um, just something I do. Uh, -huh. But it's it's uh, it's exciting, and um, I, today's Sunday. I get to see my son, and that's that's the best part of of my week, and um, that's all, all I really wanted to share. Normally, normally I go like 30 minutes. It's about 20 minutes in. Um, don't really have too much more to say. Um, again, you know, I'd I'd like to do some videos of some uh, maybe some travel adventures. Uh, today would be a good day, but I don't want to, um, you know, tell his mom that I'm doing that, you know, um, and, uh, you know, if it's just me and him, it's kind of hard. You know, I could probably do it. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's not too hard. I'm just taking some videos. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I might, I might post one. I might do a, a small bit of him and playing in the playground or something and, um, and post it. But, um, you know, like I said, it's been a month I've been doing these and right now it's, it's definitely like a journal and it, it feels really good, uh, to, to express it and, and say, you know, what's going on in my life, my stories, my Joe stories, my life stories. Um, and, uh, that's about it. Thank you everyone for listening. I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, October 15th holiday season is here. Um, it's always my favorite time of the year, and uh, thank you. I will see you again. Bye-bye.